We've all seen nature documentaries with footage of whales and dolphins or cetaceans, and some of us have even been lucky enough to see them in person. Now, however, these cetaceans are becoming stranded on our beaches or accidentally caught in fishing gear more often and in greater numbers. And something that we as scientists are noticing when we are investigating these animals is that there are a higher number of parasites within the animals and also a greater number of species infecting these animals. And this is when we've realised that we don't actually know too much about the parasites that infect whales and dolphins. And this is where my project comes in. So whilst the parasites in these tubes here might look very similar, they are in fact very different. They infect different species of whales and dolphins and different organs within the animals. And they also pose different levels of risk to the animals that they infect and potentially to humans one day too. Now here in the lab in Inverness, I'm extracting parasite DNA and using molecular techniques, sequencing the DNA, to try and learn a little bit more about them which ones are different species, how they interact with the animals that they infect, and how they're able to avoid the immune system of these animals. And all of this, I'm hoping one day, will tell us a little bit more about life in the belly of a whale.